Well, we're going to be covering spanning tree now. And I've got a switch here that um, we're going to utilize. It's already configured, so I'll be mainly demonstrating to you um, the, uh, uh, the way we set up spanning tree. So we have multiple spanning tree versions um, allowed by default on most of the uh, releases of software. The default is multiple spanning tree, 802.1s. The way that you specify this, or actually I can first show you how you show it, show spanning tree. Oh, because I'm in configuration mode, I need to do run as show spanning tree. And it shows us that currently on this system, PVST is the one that is configured. So if I wanted to change that, I would do set protocols, spanning tree, force version, and then hit a question mark. And you can see that uh, we have four different versions, regular spanning tree, rapid spanning tree, multiple spanning tree, and then rapid per VLAN spanning tree. So we're using version four, and we could uh, verify that by showing our configuration. So show display set match uh, and we're going to match force version and that will show us that we're running version 4. Alright so for setting up a rapid spanning tree the um, after you've set the version itself to tell it to do rapid spanning tree then that's what we're going to do. And unless you have set up a uh, per VLAN spanning tree on each VLAN that you are utilizing, there will be no spanning tree running, which could be uh, a dangerous situation for loops, especially if you have loops in your network. So the next command that we're going to run is we're going to set up spanning tree. I'm going to go ahead and type this in on each VLAN. So the command will run our set protocols spanning tree, PVST, VLAN, and then the VLAN number. You can see the only one that does not have per VLAN spanning tree set up on it is 4001. So we've enabled true for VLAN 101, 102, and 103. The other thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to set the bridge priority. And we don't have it set on this one yet. Uh, because we're just taking the defaults. Now let's go ahead and look at um, our settings. So I've shown you how to look at the spanning tree itself. Now we're going to look at per VLAN spanning tree and bridge and then we could specify a particular VLAN. So let's go ahead and do that 101 and we'll see that our root bridge is this MAC address which is the same as our MAC address. So we are the default root bridge, or we are the root root bridge. And let's see if it shows our root cost is zero, meaning that we're going to get there. Um, no problem. And let's go ahead and set. I don't have our set command in there. So set protocols, spanning tree, PVST, VLAN. We're going to set it to VLAN 101, bridge priority, zero. So when we set our bridge priority to zero, uh, zero, the lowest number is the one who will win the election. By default, everybody is set to the highest number, which is typically uh, 32,769. So if we set our bridge priority to zero, then we're going to be elected. Uh, other than that, we have the option of setting um, our port priority and port cost. And that's important because wherever the root bridge is, there's a certain path. And if you're running spanning tree, that means you typically have multiple paths to the root bridge. And so you can dictate which path you take from a particular switch. And you would do that using port priority and port cost. So both parameters are used to determine which interface will be in that forwarding state. If you want to affect how the local switch elects a root port 
you change the cost on the links. Cost is cumulative throughout the spanning tree domain. The higher cost is less preferred. If you want to affect how the downstream switch elects its root port, you change the priority. This is only local, locally significant between the two directly connected switches. Higher priority is less preferred, again. And last way is going away from the root of the tree, it uses priority, whereas going towards the root of the tree uses the cost. And those guys are set up um, using this command. So on a given switch, you'll run set protocol spanning tree, PBST, you specify the VLAN, and then you look at the interfaces that are going upstream. I'm gonna put in that interface, and then I can specify my path cost or port priority. So path cost, and then I specify my number. Again, lower, lower cost is gonna be the preferred path. Whether it's gonna be uh, port cost or poor priority.